Hi, Rebecca. Kim Willis here. Damien asked me to um, have a look at uh, your email sequence and uh, maybe play around with one of them, which is what I've done. So I've got uh, I've got one here. Um, I haven't rewritten the the the, the, the entire thing. I have basically created a, a different type of an opening. Now there are lots of different ways that we can open a piece of content with. That didn't sound very good, but anyway, you know what I mean. There's a lot, lots of different ways of, of creating an opening, lots of different themes. I one of the thing or one of the techniques that I like to use is the slice of life technique. So I've written a hypothetical slice of life. Um, I don't know whether you've got a pond. You probably don't, but that we could we could change that around, no problem. Uh, so we start with the opening. I haven't done much to the rest of your email because I mean to talk with you and, and get clearer about the strategy because I'm not sure that the strategy that's currently being used in terms of the offer and so on are, are you know, effective. I don't know how effective they are. Um, I don't know whether it would need to be tweaked or whatever it probably would be, so I haven't done anything in that area. But I, but I have worked on the opening, giving you what I think is a better opening. And But to use the opening without making some changes to the rest of it, including the, under, the underlying strategy that you're using, would be a mistake. Okay? So please don't, don't do this until you get all elements working properly. Can we help you with that? Of course. All right, just let me run through it with you very quickly. So we start with a story. I'm writing to you from my garden. Sitting by the pond, I'm making the most of it because even though the sun is shining, the storm is brewing south of here. Close by are a handful of chortling magpies. No bird chortles like a magpie. To my left, I spot a large lizard luxuriating himself in the warm sun. It won't be long before my garden is no longer dappled with the warm rays of the sun but swamped in a mini sea of water and debris. Before I retire to the house, I want to share with you my experiences with some great people I've helped over the years. All right, so that's, that's the opening. And from there, we segue into the business discussion. What I've done there is that I've reworked some of your original uh, content or some of the content was produced for you. Um, not a complete rewrite, whereas the opening is a complete rewrite. It started with a blank sheet, metaphorical blank uh, sheet of paper and, and created something new. Now, uh, two versions of this opening could be, could be used, the full version like this, or a three-paragraph version. So we've got four paragraphs there. We could do a three-paragraph version if you wanted to get into the meat of the matter faster. But the, the psychology behind this kind of a, an opening I think it's pretty strong. It's about building relationships and and involving people a little bit in in your world, uh, making it more personal, making those connections, creating some content that really resonates with people, that gets them to sit up and take notice. People love stories, Rebecca, as you know. They love stories and they they remember stories long after facts and figures have been forgotten. So, uh, yeah, so as I say, I haven't rewritten, I haven't done a complete rewrite of the rest of it. I've just polished some of your other content, but it probably needs a complete rewrite. So you can see it there. These are the people who love to walk, uh, run or play sports. And one of the most annoying and painful things for them is, you guessed it, blisters, etc. So we bring out the pain. We remind them of how uncomfortable blisters can be, how painful they can be, and so on. And then down here, we get to, you know, your offer. Um, my instinct, I'm not saying in black and white, this is the case, but my instinct at this point, I just don't know enough. Right? I need to talk with you. But uh, my instinct is that um, that probably needs a revamp. Uh, I'm not, uh, not saying that uh, selling a course for blisters is is not viable. Um, I can see potential in it. Both of my sons were tennis players. They suffered from blisters quite a lot. Um, and I mean, they're very serious tennis players. So they'll, 
they were playing a lot, you know. So then you've got walkers, you've got runners, mar including marathon runners and all the rest of it. Yeah, it's very much a niche market, but uh, people are very well aware of it. So I, I think, but maybe the course itself, maybe the, the way the course is presented, the concept of the course could be polished, um, could be upgraded, could be revamped, something like that. I don't know. Um, it doesn't matter how good the copy is. If the offer sucks, it's not going to work. Right? So the best copy in the world is still going to fail if we haven't got an offer that converts. But assuming that when you've got an offer that converts, good copy, when you've got a, let me put it this way, when you've got an offer that converts, even mediocre coffee, copy will make some sales because the offer is so strong, it will convert anyway to a degree. But when you've got great copy, the conversion rates obviously increase dramatically. But the core of it must be the offer, the converting offer. So that's another discussion for another day. All right. Hope this helps. Kim Willis. Bye for now.